students have taken the decision to go ahead with the process, and we are engaged with that. But I do get a sense, as I'm sure you would have picked up from the press, that many of us are going ahead kicking and screaming all the way. And if we are to avoid the pitfalls that we've made in previous negotiations, I think it's important very early that we build a consensus uh, for this process. I would be considered blinded or a fool to think that there would not be those among us today who would have had their doubts as to the positives that could be had from forging an FTA with Canada. From past experience in the negotiating process with the Economic Partnership Agreement, many would have had major concerns perusing their minds as to the possible implications on local enterprise in member states. Would industry survive? Would foreign companies dominate our local market? Would the social impact inclusive of the loss of jobs, etc far exceed the gains to be had? What would be the outcome for local commodities in the domestic and foreign markets? These questions continue to linger on today, simmering in the minds of citizens in member states as to what lies ahead in light of what we are about to ent entertain with respect to Canadians. I sense a constituency problem. I sense a constituency problem both in Canada and I sense a, co sense a constituency problem in CARICOM. I sense a constituency problem at the level of the private sector in, in, in Canada, where essentially because of the negotiating priorities that Canada has, they're asking the question, if CARICOM's trade is so small, and we already have this large degree of integration with CARICOM, where should, where should CARICOM's, where should our priorities lie in a negotiations with all of these developing countries? I don't have an answer. Information is knowledge, and knowledge is power around the negotiating table. This, was, this is exactly what was lacking at times. CARICOM must arm its negotiators with knowledge that they need in order, to make them, in order for them to make informed decisions that would serve the interests of the country and the region, and by extension, you the valued stakeholders in the process. <laughs>
endorsements, objections to what is presented in the brief before we move forward with the agreement. I view this, your involvement and participation in the process, even at this preliminary stage, as crucial. I hope that this time around, all parties would be on board. We would all be aware of what is happening, and no one would be surprised of the outcome when the dotted line is signed, as well as greater inclusion of all in the policy formation formulation process. As we go forward in terms of negotiations and discussing issues with intermarket access, we must remember that as we negotiate, we have to focus not just on market access from the point of view of tariffs, but also um, ensuring that we, to the extent possible, that we include in these trade agreements provisions that allow for developing countries to benefit from uh, technical assistance in terms of building export capacity and building competitiveness. There's need to strategize, again that word coming up, and develop new paradigms to think outside of the box for raising competitiveness both within, both within CARICOM and in, and in the international marketplace. The private sector must be cognizant of the reality that it faces and be prepared with the tools to compete in a globalized trading environment. The agreement must be looked upon from both a defensive and an offensive position for the region's producers and exporters. One of our key um, objectives is to ensure that we play an active role in the negotiation to ensure that our interests are well served. We therefore, as an organization, must find ways of working with the public sector to ensure that these trade agreements come into place. However, getting them established is only the first step. Our farmers, our processors, our exporters must be adequately equipped to access these markets. And perhaps more importantly... <laughs>